Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. Father, we give you praise. We worship you. We honor you, Jesus. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're highly welcome. For those that are just joining, this is praying for results. We'll be praying today. Before we start, quickly invite your friends, your loved ones, tell them we're live. Invite them. It's going to be a short prayer session today. We're going to be praying for nations today. So reach out to your loved ones, tell them we're live. The Bible says the effect of the prayer of the righteous availeth much. So together we shall be praying for our nations today. So invite your friends, invite your loved ones, tell them we are ready to pray. Amen. Amen. Invite everyone within your sphere of influence, tell them we are ready. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. 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 Let's just say a short word of prayer before we start. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day in your presence. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you that it has pleased you, God, to preserve us to you today. We are grateful. We do not take it for granted. Lord, we thank you, God, for the grace to call upon you. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for the bond of love. Thank you for grace. Thank you for strength on all sides. We give you all the praise. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you hear our prayer speedily today in the name of Jesus. As we have gathered to pray today, we ask, oh God, for speedy response, oh God, to all our prayers. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 You're highly welcome to this program today. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for making our time out of your busy schedules to be part of this program. Today is dedicated to praying for our nations. And we're going to use Nigeria and the United States as our point of contact. For those that are following the news, you know right now in the United States, it's a period of voting. The elections are currently going on, votings are currently going on for the new government. The main election day is November 3rd. So from now to your November 3rd, the votings are going on so that we can vote in new governments according to the will of God. And for those in Nigeria, if you're following the news, you will see all that is going on. The hashtag and SARS and police brutality. Lots of things have been going on. The youths were protesting for their rights. And from what we gathered in the news, some were hurt, some lives were lost and so many things which hoodlums have also taken to the streets, looting and vandalizing. So many people, their hearts are bleeding, they're in pain, they're depressed, they are sad and all that. So just like the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. That's in the book of Corinthians. So that's exactly what we are doing today. We're going to pray for the nations. I'm going to pray for the comfort of everyone that is hurting. We're going to pray that the Holy Spirit will comfort everyone that is hurting in any way. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 from verse 2, Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comforts, who comforted us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comforts wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Amen. That's the word of God. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to comfort everyone. He is our comforter. And the best comfort is the comfort of the Holy Spirit. So without wasting much time, we're going to start with the praying, the prayers for the ongoing elections in the United States. And then we will go down to the prayers for Nigeria. Our first prayer focus will be from the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2, that says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear its rule, the people perish. We're going to pray that God will elect God-fearing leaders that will rule with the fear of God and in righteousness so that we all will rejoice. So together we're going to pray. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for peaceful and credible elections in the United States, resulting in the elections of servant leaders at all levels of government. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for credible and peaceful elections in the United States, resulting in the elections of servant leaders at all levels of government. So wherever you are, begin to pray that prayer. Lord, we pray, oh God, we ask for peaceful and credible elections here in the United States, resulting in the election of servant leaders across all levels of government. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you vote in your own people, the people that will lead, oh God, after righteousness, the people, oh God, that will lead according to your will, the people, oh God, that will cause your children to rejoice in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is a heart cry prayer today. Lord, we ask, oh God, for peaceful and credible elections here in the United States, oh God, resulting in the election of servant leaders across all levels of government in the name of Jesus. You can press it down in the spirit. He that do it in the spirit, do it as well. Holy Spirit, we are calling upon you, God. Yeah, brother, la la ba son de kala la ba ba. Yeah, brother, gada gala la ba soto ko zende ke de kele rebo. Yeah, brother, gada gala la ba soto ko sete ke ya kan de kele rebo. Yeah, brother, gada gala la ba soto ko zanda gada ga. Le rebo mo soto ko zende ke de kele rebo. Shaka na gada ba. Lord, we ask for God for peaceful and credible elections of God in the United States of God, resulting of God in the elections of God of servant leaders across all levels of government of God, those that will lead of God in righteousness of God, those that will lead of God with the fear of God of God, those that lead of God with the wisdom of God of God, those that will lead with love of God so that your people will rejoice in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, O oh God, for a leader after your own heart, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, across all levels of government, O oh God. Let righteous people, O oh God, be led into authority, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. The elected, O oh God, into the positions of authority, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise, our Father. Lord, we thank you because your word says, Oh God, when we pray according to your will, you hear it us. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for hearing our prayers. We thank you in advance, O oh God, for the successful, O oh God, elections, O oh God, for peaceful, O oh God, and credible elections, O oh God, that the righteous, O oh God, be voted into the seat of authority, O oh God, across all levels of government, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. That you take over their hearts, O oh God, to fear you, O oh God, to serve you, O oh God, in righteousness, O oh God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Still in the attitude of prayer. Our next prayer point was taken from the book of 1 Timothy, 
chapter 2, verse 1 to 2, that says, I extort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. Amen. That is what the Bible has commanded us to do. And that we must do. So again, let's pray again, saying after me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we present our presidents and all other world leaders before you that they would lead with supernatural wisdom leading to peace and prosperity. Amen. I take that again. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we present our president and other world leaders before you that they will lead with supernatural wisdom leading to peace and prosperity. So let's pray that prayer. The Bible has commanded us to pray for our leaders. So let's begin to pray for our president, the president of other nations of the world, the president of the United States of America, the president of Nigeria, the president of all nations of the world and all leaders across all cadres of government. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to give them the supernatural wisdom to lead according to his will, leading to peace and prosperity of our nations. We all know that when there's chaos in our nations, we can't have peace, we can't have prosperity, and we cannot move how we ought to move. So wherever you are, open your heart. Make that prayer your prayer point today. Pray from the bottom of your heart. Lord, my God, we cry today. Oh God, under this corporate anointing, oh God, we present, oh God, our president, oh God, before you this hour, we present, oh God, all the world leaders, oh God, across every level of government before you, oh God. Lord, we ask, oh God, that they will lead with supernatural wisdom, leading to peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you endure them, oh God, with your supernatural wisdom, endure them with grace, oh God, that their leadership, oh God, will result in peaceful living, oh God, and prosperity of all of the citizens, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, my Father, my God, take over the heart, oh God, of our president, Oh God, take over the heart, oh God, of all our leaders, oh God, across all the nations of the world, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, endure them with supernatural wisdom, oh God, endure them with your grace, oh God, release your spirit upon them, oh God, that they will lead in righteousness, oh God. Resulting, oh God, in the peace of God and prosperity of the nations in the name of Jesus. Father, be God in the lives of our president, oh God. Be God in the lives of our leaders, oh God. Be God, oh God, in the lives of every citizen of the nations of the world, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Let your supernatural wisdom, of God, be deposited in them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, release your grace, oh God, upon them in the name of Jesus, oh God, that their leadership, oh God, will result, oh God, in peace, oh God, it will result in prosperity, oh God of our nations, oh God, in the name of Jesus. This is our Jerusalem, oh God. Lord, you have commanded us, oh God, to pray for the peace of our Jerusalem, that they will prosper and they love thee, oh God. Lord, if our nation is not in peace, we cannot prosper. If our nation is not at peace, we cannot prosper, oh God. Lord, let your wisdom, oh God, overtake our president, oh God. Let your wisdom overtake, oh God, all the leaders, oh God across all the different levels of government, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that their leadership, oh God, results in peace, oh God, and prosperity of our nations, oh God, of the citizens, oh God, of livelihood, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way, oh God. Have your way, oh God. In your lives, oh God. In their heart, oh God. Lord, you have complete authority over their minds, oh God. Will them, oh God, the way you want, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because we know you've heard us, oh God. Blessed be your holy name. Did that we exalted, oh God. 
For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Still in the attitude of prayer, we're going to move to the next prayer point. The next prayer point is taken from Psalm 147, verse 3. The Bible says, He healed the broken in heart and binded up their wounds. There are so many people that are hurting right now as a result of bad governance. Their hearts are bleeding. Their hearts are aching. They need the comfort of the Holy Spirit. It's only the Almighty God that can touch their heart at this point. So you need to stand in the gap and intercede for those group of people. I myself have been hurting for the past how many days? But all the things that are going on. So we're going to pray. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, comfort all that are hurting in any way as a result of bad governance thereby giving them rest round about. We need that rest round about. All round rest. So pray again, say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, comfort all that are hurting in any way as a result of bad governance, thereby giving them rest round about. So let's pray that prayer. My Father, my God, it's a heart cry prayer today. Lord, you heal the brokenhearted, oh God. You bind up their wounds, oh God. So many people, oh God, particularly in Nigeria, are experiencing pain, oh God. They're experiencing hurt, oh God. Raw wounds, oh God. Open wounds, oh God. Blood is flowing, oh God, from different parts of their body as a result of pain. My Father, my God, restore, oh God. Bind up, oh God, they are brokenhearted, oh God. Lord, heal their pains. Heal their wounds, oh God. Comfort them as only you can. My Father, my God, we ask for rest round about. Everyone right now hurting, oh God. Every heart that is bleeding, oh God. Every eyes that is dropping tears of pain. My Father, my God, we ask, oh God, for comfort of the Holy Spirit. Lord, comfort them as only you can. Comfort them as only you can. Comfort them as only you can in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is hurting as a result of bad governance, oh God. My Father, my God, comfort them, oh God. Heal the brokenhearted, oh God. Give them rest round about. Lord, give your children rest round about. Give your children rest round about. Give your children rest round about. Lord, we ask for speedy recovery, oh God. Speedy recovery, my Father. Lord, comfort your children, everyone that is hurting right now, oh God, as a result of bad governance, oh God. Heal their pains, oh God. Heal their wounds, oh God. Restore all that they have lost, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give them rest round about. Give them rest round about. Give them rest round about. In the name of Jesus, the name that's above every other name. The name of Jesus, my Father, my God. You are a strong tower. The righteous run seen to you and they are saved. Lord, you say, anyone that calls upon your name shall be saved. Lord, we are calling upon your name, O God, for our nations, O God. Lord, let your healing power, O God, be found. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we ask for peace, oh God. Peace, oh God, peace, perfect peace, oh God. Comfort of the Holy Spirit, oh God. Bind up, oh God, the brokenhearted, oh God. Heal their wounds, oh God. Comfort them, oh God. Give them rest round about, my Father. There is nothing too hard for you to do. With men it is impossible, but with you nothing shall be impossible. And that is our confidence today. That is why we are running to you. You are our succor. You are our strength. You are our foundation, oh God. Let your words, oh God, penetrate the heart of your children, oh God. Heal their wounds. Bind up the broken hearted. Give us rest round about. That the children of the world may see and know that of a truth, our God is the I am that I am. 
So, Father, we say thank you because we know you have heard us. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to the Lamb of God. So, in the attitude of prayer, we move again. The next prayer point is taken from Psalm 34, verse 18. 34, verse 18 says, The Lord is nigh unto them that have broken heart and saved such as be of a contrite spirit. So we're going to pray again, say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, comfort all the brokenhearted in our nations and save all that are crushed in spirit. Let's pray that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, comfort all the brokenhearted in our, our nations and save all that are crushed in spirit. Lord, so many people, oh God, right now, their spirit, oh God, are crushed. Their spirit are crushed, oh God. Their spirit are crushed, oh God. My Father, my God, do not allow men to say, where is our God? We have always called upon your name, oh God. When it becomes tough, oh God, we run to you, oh God. When there is confusion, we run to you. When there is anarchy, we run to you. When there is chaos, we run to you, oh God. So many people, oh God, their spirits, oh God, are crushed, oh God. They are broken hearted, oh God. They are bruised, oh God. So many ills going on. So many evils going on. Father, rise up in your might, oh God, my Father. Rise up, oh God. Rise up, oh God. Heal the brokenhearted, oh God. Everyone that is crushed in spirit, my Father, my God, comfort them, oh God. Comfort them in the name of Jesus. Comfort them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, save them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, save them, oh God. We ask for salvation of their souls, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for salvation of their souls, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That in this time of pain, oh God, Lord, oh God, that the devil will not steal them, oh God. Lord, we block, oh God, every door, oh God. We block, oh God, every channel, oh God. Lord, we lift up, oh God, a banner, oh God. Over, oh God, everyone that is going through pain, oh God, that the devil would not use this means, oh God, to steal their souls. Lord, we ask for salvation of their souls. In the name of Jesus, comfort them, my Father. Bind up their heart, oh God. Lord, we shut the door against Satan. We shut the door against Satan and his cohorts. Satan would not use this opportunity to begin to steal souls. In the name of Jesus, we say no. We present the blood of Jesus. We present the blood of Jesus. We present the blood of Jesus. Satan, we command you in the name of Jesus. Get your hands off the children of God. In the name of Jesus, you will not use your pains against them. In the name of Jesus, you will not use your pains against them. In the name of Jesus, you will not use your pains against them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you rest on Job, oh God. That you restore your children, oh God, in the name of Jesus, not save them, oh God. We block every entrance that Satan has to penetrate with the blood of Jesus. We release the angel of God, oh God, on assignment right now. To begin to barricade the space of the children of God. Over our nations, we release the blood of Jesus, we release the angels of God to be on the face, to continue to minister life to the children of God in the name of Jesus. Lord, comfort your children, oh God. Save everyone, oh God, that is crushed in spirit, oh God, my Father, oh God. Their souls, oh God, will not be slave to Satan, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. That this season, oh God, Lord, their souls, oh God, will be preserved, oh God. In the name of Jesus, their souls will be preserved, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Satan, oh God, my Father, my God, Satan does not have a place. In our nation, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you because we have the victory, O oh God. Thank you for the salvation of souls of your children, O oh God. Thank you for comfort of the Holy Spirit, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for closing every door, every gate that the enemy may want to penetrate, O oh God. 
In the name of Jesus, we release the blood of Jesus. We release the angels of God as an assignment, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we come against every negative association that will lead them to the negative side. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you all the praise. Thank you, my Father, because you've heard us. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. We're going to pray again, taking our scripture from Revelation chapter 21, verse 4, that says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. We're going to pray that prayer and make that declaration for our nation, Nigeria, and every other nation of the world that is experiencing pain at this point in the name of Jesus. You're going to say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, wipe the tears of your children hurting at this time, take away every pain, sorrow, put an end to untimely death in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's pray that prayer in the name of Jesus, my Father, my God. We call upon you, O oh God, Holy Spirit. You're the God that wipes away tears. Every child, every mother, every man, every woman, every family, every nation, using Nigeria as a point of contact, that is bleeding at this hour, that is hurting right now, that is in tears, oh God, for the pains, oh God. Wipe away their tears. Lord, we decree an end to pain and sorrow in the name of Jesus. There will be no more pains in the name of Jesus. There will be no more sorrows in the name of Jesus. There will be no more untimely death in the name of Jesus. We say enough is enough in the name of Jesus. Lord, release, oh God, your own handkerchief, oh God, over the eyes of your children. Wipe their tears. Wipe their tears. Wipe their tears. Wipe their tears. For the lives that are lost, my Father, we know, oh God, that they may not come back, oh God, but you alone are the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Comfort their families, comfort their loved ones, heal their pains, wipe their tears, oh God. Lord, we say enough is enough. Lord, enough to pain, enough to sorrow, enough to untimely death, enough to bad governance, enough to every and anything that is not of you, my Father. That you dry the tears of your children, O God. Dry the tears of your children, O God. Lord, we say that affliction shall not rise again a second time. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, we come against untimely death. In the name of Jesus, no more killings, no more dies. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we cry for restoration, O God. Restore, O God. Everyone, O God, that has been traumatized, O God. Everyone that is going through any form of pain, oh God, call forth your children, my father, wipe their tears, oh God, restore, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks because we know you've heard us. Blessed be your holy name, for in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. And finally, for this segment, we are going to go back to our anchor scripture for today, 2 Corinthians 1. Three to four, blessed be God, even our Father, our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted. So pray it in your own language, in your own understanding. We need to comfort 
so many people right now. For me, I've gone through pain in the last few days. It's been tough going through the events on social media. I cried, I broke down, I was wounded in my spirit and I asked the Holy Spirit to comfort me so that I'll be able to comfort other people. I get all manner of prayer requests, videos and people saying, cry out to God, where is our God? Our God is a praying answering God. He will heal us and he will deliver us from this pain in the name of Jesus. So pray it in your own language, ask the Holy Spirit to comfort you so that you'll be able to comfort others. This is a time we all need ourselves. This is not a time to pass judgment. This is not a time to speak carelessly. This is not a time to speak anyhow. The nation belongs to every of its citizens. Where there is peace, you will progress. Where there is peace, you will prosper. Where there is the opposite, nobody can move forward. So let's pray for the comfort of the Holy Spirit so that we will be able to comfort others in Amen. Amen. You can pray that in the prayer language of the Spirit. My God, we ask for the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Lord, oh God, release your Spirit, release your grace on your children. Comfort them, comfort them on every side in the name of Jesus. As many as require this comfort, as many as need this comfort, oh God, Holy Spirit, you are a comforter. Comfort us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, comfort your children that we may be a comfort to other people in the name of Jesus. That we may be able to give our shoulders to everyone that needs support, that needs so called, oh God, to lean on, oh God. Lord, hear our prayers, hear our cries. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray for a group of people today. I know based on all that is happening, even some things I've heard on social media, comments, people are making here and there out of pain. You begin to wonder what exactly is going on. The spirit of Antichrist is also at work right now. So we need to be careful. We need to be cautious. Some people have backsliding out of pain, out of the issues, out of pressures. Some have not even identified with Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. They have not even given their life to Christ. If you belong to that category, this is an opportunity for you to make your ways right with God. The hour is now. You do not have control of the next second. It's so interesting how people may be flippant in their speech and speak like it matters nothing or anything. Have you ever wondered where your soul will be when you transition, when you breathe your last? It's okay to speak anyhow when you're on this other side, but when you go on the other side, do you know where you're going? Eternity is real. Heaven and hell it's re is real. Hell is not a place where you wish even for your great, your worst enemy. That's why we make this call so that we all can walk on that streets paved with gold and receive that warm reception by our almighty king saying, welcome, thou good and faithful servant, come into my rest. So if you belong to that category, you want to make your ways right with God, you want to retrace your step, you want to say, Lord, I'm sorry for my utterances, for the way I have spoken, for the things I have done wrong, and for those that have not even given their lives to say, I want to be part of what you're doing, I want to be part of this kingdom, so that I can also receive the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, I encourage you to place your right hand on your chest and begin to speak to him in your own language, ask him to forgive you, ask him to come into your heart, ask him to wash away your sin. He knows you, he understands you, better than anybody knows. Accept him today as your Lord and Savior. Tell him that you believe in your heart that he died to save you. Speak it out, confess it, make it bold, declare it wherever you are and say that I confess Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. He died to set me free. I've accepted him 
today into my heart and I want him to be the Lord of my life. I want him to be my savior. I want him to lead me in everything that I do. Amen. So if you have prayed that prayer, let me just pray for you wherever you are. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for everyone that has prayed this prayer right now. Even for those who will watch this video later and they will pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for the grace of God that you have extended to them today because your word says, no man cometh unto you except he be drawn by you. Thank you for the beautiful invitation. Thank you for drawing them towards you. Thank you for opening their eyes of understanding to realize your place in their lives. Thank you that they have prayed this prayer today. Lord, welcome them into your sheepfold in the name of Jesus. Lord, cause them to experience the joy of salvation. Make them disciples of you today, that they will go all over the world, spreading the sweet arm of the gospel of Jesus, making disciples of all men, that they in return will come to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father, for hearing our prayers. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. What a joy. What a joy in heaven when one sinner returns back to God. It's always a joyful experience. Thank you everyone who has prayed this prayer. I celebrate with you and I say congratulations. This is the best decision of your life. You may not know it. The Holy Spirit has come into your life right now. You're going to experience him like never before. This is the best relationship you can have. He'll begin to speak with you, talk with you, and teach you his own way. I encourage you, if you don't have a Bible, get a Bible and begin to read your Bible. Cultivate a relationship with him. Study your Bible. If you don't know where to start, like my husband will always say, you can start from the Gospels. Start from the Gospels and he will speak to you. If you have not been going to church or you don't have a church, I encourage you prayerfully. Ask the Holy Spirit where he'll rather you be. Because the Bible says he, almighty God, sends you pastors after his own heart, those that will feed you wisdom and knowledge. So prayerfully ask the Holy Spirit where he wants you to be planted so that you can grow in the spirit, in the faith, and become rooted in the word. If God is also leading you to be part of us, we are Beautify Saints Church, we are a global ministry. You can go to our website to know more about us, fill out the membership form, send us a DM, and we'll be part of you and help you to be established in the faith and grow in the Lord. Thank you so much for this beautiful decision you have made today. I promise you, you will never regret it for anything. Amen. God bless you as you do. Just by way of announcement, Tomorrow is Sunday. Remember, you have to go to church. Go and have a beautiful fellowship with the Holy Spirit. We will be having our online services 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. GMT plus one. It's a super celebration service. Every last Sunday of the month is a super celebration service, a Thanksgiving service, where we thank God for the blessings of the month and return the thanks due to his holy name. It's been awesome. So I encourage you to be part of us. You can join us. We stream live on YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, and on our website. Whatever platform that works for you, connect, and you'll be part of what God is doing. God has given his servant a word. He's loaded with that word. That word that you have long waited for. That word that will move you forward. I encourage you, come expectant tomorrow. Come with a heart of expectation. Come ready. Come with your, your writing materials, your journal. Because God has a word for you. And remember, pay attention because you don't know when the catching up moment will be. When the Holy Spirit will speak to you. When you hear that voice from behind that will say, this is the way walk you in it so as we come to an end wherever you are if you've been blessed remember share this video so that other people can also be blessed this is a season where some people are going through pain so this video can encourage them it can be a circle to them it can lift up their spirit you can please 
around your loved one who is going through pain, trust me, the fire of the Holy Ghost will ignite in that person's spirit and the person's spirit will be lifted and the comfort of the Holy Spirit will be released. So share the videos, follow us on all our social media platforms to see what God is doing and be part of it in the name of Jesus. Also, remember to share your testimonies. When you thank him for what he's done, he makes it whole. Just like the leper who returned to say thank you, he was made whole. And the Lord Almighty will perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. So if you've been blessed wherever you are, lift up your hands above your head, begin to thank him. Let's thank him. Let's give him the thanks due to his name. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank 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 him. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are so good. Almighty God, hallowed be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. Almighty Father, we are grateful. We worship you. We honor you. We magnify your holy name. Lord, we say thank you. We are confident of this very thing, that you that started the good work in us, you are faithful to complete it to the very end. Thank you for comfort of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for strengthening us, oh God. Thank you for breathing your breath, oh God, upon us afresh, oh God. Thank you for healing our wounds. Thank you, oh God, for taking away our pains. Thank you, God, for restoration, binding up the brokenhearted, saving those that are crushed in spirit. Lord, we say thank you for everyone in any Nigerian hospital right now, currently undergoing treatment, oh God, as a result of the attack of the protest. We release the healing power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Distance is not a barrier. We release angelic assistance in the name of Jesus. For everyone that God has used to be a source of blessing financially, emotionally, physically, in any way, the frontliners, you will not lose your reward in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God who sees a secret will reward you openly in the name of Jesus. Your labor of love will not go unrewarded in the name of Jesus. For a hero's past, let the soul of the peaceful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And together we we'll say no more death, no more premature death in the name of Jesus. For all that we have lost, Lord, you restore and your name alone will be praised and glorified. We decree and declare that God, you'll be God in our nation. You'll be God, the authority of our nations. You'll be God in us fears of influence of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father, for answers to all our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. Give you all the praise and glory. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So remember, Sunday night, your Holy Ghost intercession on Instagram Live, 12 a.m. Eastern Time. 5 a.m. GMT plus one. See you. Okay. The time should change by the session be like 6 a.m. in the name of Jesus. I would um, send that notification before then. So see you in the room. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your evening, your day, your time, wherever you're connecting from. I love you all. God bless you. It's my humble self, Manike, partnering with Jesus as your intercessor. Jesus is Lord. Amen.